The Great Banquet, Luke 14. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of rich food. He will swallow up death forever, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces. Behold, this is our God. We have waited for him, that he might save us. Isaiah 25, verse 6, 8 through 9. Do you like parties? The Jewish people were waiting for a big, important party that God had promised through the prophet Isaiah long ago. Everyone wanted to be at that banquet. The Messiah would come and make everything new, wipe away everyone's tears, and invite people from all nations to celebrate. Jesus once told a story about what this special party would be like. He told of a man who hosted a great banquet. The man made sure to have the best food and drinks. When everything was ready, he sent his servant out to tell his guests that it was time. But when the servant went to to the first guest, he had a silly excuse. He said he needed to go look at some land. That was more important than the big party. And the second person said he'd rather see how well his oxen could pull things. The third said he was busy with his new wife. The servant was embarrassed. How could these men treat his master like this? Everything was ready. They had worked so hard to make the banquet just right. The servant knew his master would be angry and hurt. The master was angry, but then he did something surprising. The master told his servant to go out into the streets and invite common people to the banquet. Strangers, people who were sick and poor, and those who were blind and unable to walk. And that's what the servant did. People who would normally never have the chance to go to a banquet like this were invited to be guests of honor. They could never repay the master. But the kind master loved these people. He turned his anger into grace. There was still room for more. So the master sent his servant out to the highways and hedges to gather anyone who wanted to come. Everyone was invited. And God's special party will be just like this, when everything will be made new and everyone will be welcome. How do you think the people at the party felt about the kind master? Now we are praying. Dear Jesus, thank you for being with us on this Lenten journey. Amen.